Hello Exiles. In this video I want to show how to properly configure and why you should definitely customize your leveling filter. For this demonstration I will use a new site called Filter Blast. Let's start by explaining why customize. Well the reason is quite simple. The more loot we see the more choices we have to make. What to pick up and what to leave behind. For this reason I believe it's best to make sure we only see the things that will benefit us. A general filter can never cover the need of every build out there. There is simply too much diversity and users have different needs, depending on their level, knowledge of the game and who knows what else. So why wouldn't you customize your filter if the process is fast and streamlined? This process literally takes you a minute and the result can benefit your gameplay experience drastically. So how do we do it? First we need to make sure that both the leveling filter and end game filter blocks are enabled. Next we can go explore the leveling filter block and disable any block that we may not be interested in. Generally I would recommend to only disable the flasks that you don't use. For example all mana or hybrid flasks. While you constantly need to upgrade your life flasks, the mana flasks are just not used that much. You can usually buy those at the vendor for a reasonable price. If this is not your first game playthrough, then you can disable more blocks or even disable the full leveling filter block if you already have all the leveling items. But for now let's talk about the leveling experience in a new leap. For this purpose and for potential racing purposes you can also check the racing filter block. Here you can enable specific bases you may be interested in. For example if you are a caster you can simply enable the caster items. Then you can also enable armor, shields and some jewelry. If you play a bow or melee character you can choose the base types that you can use and disable the weapons that you can't. Note that the racing filter is only affecting normal and magic items. That's why it's important to only enable the items that we need when working with the racing filter. A new option in 2.6 is the ability to choose the RGB values for races with a caster. The maximum is 3 letters. This option is currently only available in Filter Blast. To find out more, go to filterblast.oversoul.xyz, or visit the official forum thread in the description below. That's it for the customization for leveling and racing purposes. I hope you found the video informative and I will see you in the next one.